the affinity trial was a trial in HER2 positive patients uh, in the adjuvant or early stage setting. And so it was really a, a platform of Herceptin and now adding the consideration of pertuzumab, which is another monoclonal antibody targeted against HER2. And I think specifically for pertuzumab, um, in terms of it inhibits the uh, dimerization of HER2, HER3. HER3 has signaling in terms of through the resistance pathways. And so the, the trial design was either an anthracycline taxane based um, regimen for node positive patients. They also had a cohort that they limited for node negative and they received their chemotherapy with Herceptin based and then a group received pertuzumab um, in, in conjunction with the HER2 targeted therapy of Herceptin. And so they followed these patients, uh, administered it for a year and then followed the patients. Um, it was a, a blinded trial and uh, we've, we've been waiting because the HER2 positive patients are doing so well with just HER2 therapy. I think that's made the most dramatic um, improvement and so uh, all of us I think that participated in the trial and have seen the stunning effects of pertuzumab in the metastatic setting where it improved um, outcomes and median overall survival uh, for the metastatic first-line patients by six months and then it did confer an overall survival advantage in our metastatic patients and so this was the trial now taking pertuzumab in the adjuvant setting and so there's been a lot of excitement enthusiasm just from what we've seen as a paradigm shift in the metastatic setting as that's our go-to first-line regimen that has a survival advantage for the metastatic patients um, and so now what we've uh, seen as the uh, affinity data has rolled out, um, I think not as dramatic as a benefit in the Cleopatra trial just because these are early stage patients and they're doing better from the get-go um, across the board in adjuvant trials. But pertuzumab there also added an improvement for these HER2 targeted um, therapies in terms of adding it to Herceptin based therapy. And so I think the question is, you know, the magnitude of benefit certainly was smaller because these patients are doing better already with their adjuvant chemotherapy and Herceptin um, is, our, you know, can we look at subgroups of patients that received it? I think the study is positive across the board.